sorry, man. Please. 
<laughs> our robot is not used to polite people. Our robot is used to us. We just want it to get us our drink. So pass it on to, I think that that's a uh, sign. So now you guys are actually... You. Isn't that a sign that it's keeping you now? <laughs> I think it just assumed whatever you wanted to drink. Every now and then it just, you know, thinks you don't have time for this kind of shit, you just want your drink. Oh, oh there was actually the someone background. in the audience detected. <laughs> well, Whoever that was, please order your drink. I think that was you. Looks yeah, a bit like you. <laughs> okay, so now after this we've actually detected our six people. And our robot is actually, uh, it only has one arm. So it's gonna grab the tray over there. And now I would like you to check out this green part over here. That is our robot uh, footprint which is basically the part of the robot that it's using when navigating, so it knows its own size. We are actually able to dynamically update this. So this robot will now grab that uh, cart over there to get you your drinks, but to ensure that navigation will always be safe, even though it has this thing with it. As you can see now, the robot footprint has actually increased to the right size with this cart. And as you can also see, we visualize that it's actually taking the cart. Right now, it's going to take it to the fridge where all your nice beers are waiting for you. Uh, and our robot will ask for some assistance from our bartender to actually get those drinks into the cart. And it will obviously just get you those drinks. that you see over here, that's actually a map of the floor here. The faces that you see, well, apparently it was indeed you. Um, and you can also see what people ordered. It's in green underneath. So you ordered Coke, what's that, no beer? You ordered water, Coke, water. Ah, and that's nice. You two ordered beer. Good. So this way the robot doesn't actually only get you the drinks that were uh, that it got, it also actually knows how to match that order with the faces. And not only the faces, also the location of where you are. Now I got you some drinks, some snacks, and this real party can start when I'm lying somewhere wasted on the bed. That concludes our finals.
quick question. Yeah. Hey, I like the smartphone interface. Hey, yeah. Are there any way for some te other teams to use that source for this? Everything that you just saw is open source. It's on our GitHub page. Okay. Copy and paste all you want. Yeah, okay. it's it's there for everyone. Definitely. Well, why did you go decide to go through the smartphone interface rather than like voice? Because here it's quite crowded, and the microphone on this robot is not really great. We did a restaurant challenge yesterday, which was right out there, why and our robot was not able to understand chairs. everyone. So to avoid actually it not okay. understanding you, I mean. In this scenario, you guys were at a party, it's going to be loud, you might be a little bit drunk, you might mumble a bit, and then the robot will not hear you. So to actually avoid that from happening, we can develop this. Because when you're drunk, you're very good at typing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. Now you can just click even, so oh, even when you're too okay. drunk okay. to type, this will work. Yeah.